What's up, everybody? What's poppin' with it? It's Josh. Hey, I'm Josh. You know me, youth pastor here at the church. If you don't know me, say hi. Reach out because I want to get to know you. We've been uh, having some awesome Friday night use here on campus. Friday night, 6 to 8 p.m., we got worship, we got small groups, we got a message, and then we're just hanging out. Um, Last week, Brock, Brock brought, man, English is hard. Tony Pepperoni, this is pizza place in uh, Escondido. He, he's one of our leaders, he brought us some pizza, we have hot chocolate. We just wanna hang out with like-minded peers um, who are in similar places in their life as you. So if you're looking for a place to hang out in person, um, masks and all that stuff, come chill with us, we wanna see you. And then remember our podcast dropped, let's talk about youth. This last one that just dropped, we brought on Nathan Coons, a former student who's a sophomore in college now. Uh, And we just talked to him about his college experience, what's going on, what's he thinking about his life, his future, and what college has been like for him, COVID and not COVID. He's been in it for a couple years now. So tune into that and then just come be a part of the service that we have here on the weekends. 9, 11 on Sunday morning, 6 p.m. on Saturday nights. Um, We wanna see you. If you come on a Sunday morning, come say hi. I'm there, I'm not intimidating. I think I've, I've been pretty much told that by a lot of people. So whatever, it's fine. I'm not sad about it. So come say hi to me, other students. Um, We want to just connect with you. So let's dive into this. That's what we're doing today. We're diving into the word. Go on our website, find out announcements, Instagram. But today you're here because you want to learn more about this stuff. Uh, Me too. I I love opening it up and, and going through it and studying it and just feeling like the Lord is speaking into my life through his word. Um, I was saying on Friday night, that what we want to do is go through the word, not in a rapid, fast, I did it, check the box kind of way, but in slow fashion, looking at each word, each sentence, taking in what the Lord has to show us. Because a lot of times when we just breeze through it, we forget or we miss or or we lose out on all that there is to offer. Now, going Going through it fast, let's say you had 10 minutes and you just wanna spend 10 minutes in the Word and you're just reading it, that's amazing. But if you guys have time, real time, dive in, go through it slowly and just see what happens. It'll be so refreshing in your life, I promise. So today we're starting a new series. If you don't, if you didn't tune in, you missed the last series, that new, new, you can check it out on the YouTube page. Um, We can just, We can look at all that content, whatever, ring the bell, all that kind of stuff. But we did a series on that new, new, having new hearts, new vision, new purpose, new hearts for the lost, for those who who don't have Jesus, who don't have the Lord. And we we hope that's that's your heart. That's what we want for you guys, a, a desire to see others come to know Jesus. So it was a sweet series, check it out, but we are starting a new one and it's about wisdom. Right, I was like going through this, I was thinking about like, what's something that I've needed a lot more of in my life most of the time? I've done a lot of stuff that I shouldn't. What would help me with that? And I thought, wisdom. Man, wisdom is key to your life. We're gonna go through some verses. We won't get to it this week, but um, it's in Proverbs. It talks about the earth's created by wisdom. The choices we make, the discernment we have, wisdom, right? And you know me, I'm all about trees. I don't know why, just like trees are dope. Got some palm trees out here. We had some geese not too long ago. They bailed on us, whatever. But I was thinking about, man, what wisdom does in our lives is huge. It helps us understand good from evil, what to do, what not to do. Then our discernment is, okay, should I do that? No, so don't do that. But sometimes our discernment's low and we're like, I shouldn't do that, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Man, let's talk about wisdom and how we can get to a place where we're following closer, following more closely to the Lord. And I was just like thinking about that and thinking about trees. And I remember this story. I was trying to think of one where I'm like doing something dumb because that's most of it. But when I was a kid, we lived in Seattle. We lived on a hill, right? The whole street is a hill down and then out of our driveways a hill. My mom was in on the phone and I'm in the front seat. And we're all just chilling. I might have been in the back seat actually, but I climbed on up there and then on the little stick shift, it was like drive, reverse, all that stuff. You're all, when you're a kid, you're all stoked to figure out what that means. There's this little button. And I was like, I'm gonna press that button. I'm gonna see what it does. 
So press the button, dink, drops it into reverse. Mom's on the phone finding my brother's shoe and the car starts going backwards. Starts going backwards and there's a big old tree behind us. Monster. So the car is going backwards. My mom drops the phone. She books it out. We're inches from hitting this tree. And she jumps in the car, stops it, pulls back in the driveway, turns the car off and is like, don't do that, Josh. We're all screaming and whatnot. And uh, I was like, wow, I have done some dumb things, but I've learned from them. How can we learn before we do the thing we're not supposed to? And that's what I was thinking about. So I'm really pumped. We're going to be in Proverbs 3. We're going to take a couple weeks to go through it. Hopefully we'll get into another passage um, after that. We're going to spend a few weeks talking about wisdom. Hope you guys tune in, stay connected, buckle up, get your cereal. Man, I miss cereal Sundays, right? Get your cereal, get your Pop-Tarts, get your OJ, whatever it is, and let's get into this word. Proverbs 3 today. So, Lord God, thank you for this day. Thank you for your word. Thank you for an amazing day. How blessed we are by you. Man, it is beautiful. It is warm. It is it's February. Just a reminder of your hand upon our lives, God. And we thank you for that. I pray we never take it for granted. That we enjoy the creation that you put around us. We enjoy the lives that you've given to us. And we just... Uh, Look to you, Father. May this series about wisdom impact our lives, God. May we grow in our wisdom and our discernment. May we seek after you deeply. And God, may you just pour into us. So we love you, Lord, and we thank you in your name. Amen. All right, let's do it. Proverbs 3. We're just going to go through 12 verses today. Unless I feel like maybe we do more. You know what I'm saying? But... Proverbs 3, verse 1. It's always so windy. All right. It says, My son, do not forget my law, but your heart keep my commands. But let your heart keep my commands. For length of days and long life and peace they will add to you. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. And so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. So your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord, nor detest his correction. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects, just as a father, the son in whom he delights. Actually, we're going to read a few more verses. Happy is the man who finds wisdom, and the man who gains understanding. For her proceeds are better than the profits of silver, and her gain than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things you may desire cannot compare with her. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She's a tree of life to those who take hold of her, and happy are all who retain her. All right, we're going to stop right there. Man, I know that I've used some of these passages in the past, in some of those series, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, you've heard in your own life a bunch if you don't remember a few weeks ago, maybe a month now, I challenge you guys to memorize Romans chapter 12, 1 and 2, right? I'd love to hear you guys recite that to me at some point. You know, come up to me if that's something that you've taken on for yourself. Let me know that you've memorized it. But I'm going to challenge you. I Like I said, these are the new verses I want you guys to start memorizing. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And then you may already know them, so good for you. But if not... Man, let's look at this. Let's hide these on on our heart. Let's hide these in our heart. Let's memorize them. Pull them out when you need them. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And we're going to look at that in a few seconds. But man, wisdom is monstrously important in our lives. Right? Lord, what, what should I do about this school and that school? Lord, what should I do about my friend who's been doing this? Who seems to be starting to walk down a questionable path? What should I do? What, what should I do? I did something stupid. I made a mistake. 
I did something against you, forgive me, but now there's going to be consequences, Lord. What should I do? Wisdom is the answer to those questions. Get wisdom from the Lord and then walk in that wisdom. And it will be length to your days because you are going to be discerning and wise and fruitful. And then watch people come to you and ask you for advice because they're like, whoa, I'll take Stilo for example. He's always helping me out here filming me and stuff. Shout out to him. But let's say Stilo is like mad smart because, you know, Stilo got it like that. And he's out here and he's like, he made a choice that was good and I watched it happen. And then the fruit from his life is fruit that I would want in my life. I'm going to go to that person. I'm going to go to Stilo. I'm going to say, bro, like, how did you know to do that? What gave you that? What gave you those ideas there? And, and then he can give me his answer. Wisdom is huge in your life. And then we set examples to other people. Let's go back and look at some of the verses here. Man, I hope, the, I hope these speak into your life. Maybe some of you are yearning for wisdom right now. Like, I don't know what to do. God, I don't know what to do about my life. I don't know what to do about this and that and this and that and this and that. Oh, Lord, I need help with that. Man, let's find wisdom here. Verse 1 and 2, it says, My son, do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my commands. For length of days and long life and peace they will add to you. All right, before we go on, let me just read another verse to you. Psalm 119, 165, it says, Great peace have those who love your law, and nothing causes them to stumble. <sighs> Crazy. All right. My son, do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my commands. All right, let's look at that first word, forget. My son, do not forget my law. What does forgetting imply? I'll give you a second. You think about it. It means you knew it. You can't forget something you had no idea about, right? If you weren't invited somewhere and you didn't go, it's not like, hey, you forgot to go to that place. Maybe someone's having like a birthday party or like something happens. You're like driving down the street and you see all these kids like having a birthday party and you're like, man, I forgot to go to that. No, you didn't know it. You have to know this. Do not forget it. That's why we memorize scripture. That's why we hide it on our heart. That's why we read this book. My son, do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my commands. Man, this is wisdom pouring into you, right? Proverbs is all about wisdom. That's what it's talking about right here. Do not forget the wisdom that Proverbs has to offer. And in turn, do not forget the wisdom that the Lord gives you, that you learn from mistakes. Do not forget but let your heart keep my commands. All right, there you go, your heart. We talked not, long, long, not too long ago about your heart. What is the, where is your heart right now? Right, are you in love with God like never before? Are you lukewarm, are you cold? Are you hating people, are you loving people? Like where is your heart? Because your heart is the most personal part about you what you believe and think. Like when you have your mat, when you have your crush, like my first crush ever was this girl in third grade, whatever, her name was Hannah, right? And I remember I could not stop thinking about her. I paid this person a dollar to dress up like a little heart, come in on Valentine's Day, sing her a song. Man, that's my heart, that's the personal thing that I feel. I think, I thought about her. You guys are the same way, whoever your crush is, you can't stop thinking about her or him, right? What is your heart yearning for? What is that personal part of your life thinking about? Do you desire wisdom? Do you desire knowledge? Do you desire the Lord? Or do you not care at all, right? Maybe you're somewhere in the middle, you're like, it's not like I don't desire it, but I don't really want it. It's not like I'm searching after it. Man, change your perspective. Be like, I want to know this. Hide the words in my heart. I need to know. I don't want to forget. I want to know and not forget. For length of days and long life and peace they will add to you. Length of days. Guys, I can promise you, you 
will live a more fruitful life if we are following the Lord. Right? You're going to make smarter choices. You're going to be discerning. When you blunder and you fall and you trip, man, I'm going to come right back to this, to that wisdom and go right back to the Lord. And it's going to bring you back to that place that, that you need to be in. That verse that we read in Psalm 119, 165, 5, it says, Great peace have those who love your law, and nothing causes them to stumble. Nothing. Man, love this. When you make a mistake, you're going to come right back. You're not going to fall away if you're seeking after Him. That is what we want for you. That is my prayer for you. That is my hope for you. Man, there's so much right here, but length of days and long life and peace they will add to you. Guys, we could stop right there. If we are just seeking after God, man, our lives will, will find peace in Him. Length of days. All right, let's keep going though. There's so much more here. It says, let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. There we go again, right? Bind them around your, your neck, right? Once again, CeeLo, that's my boy. He just copped a new chain, looking real fresh. You know where that chain hangs? Around his neck, tucked into his shirt, whatever, because he keeps it close to him. He doesn't just leave it lying around. It's important to him. That's where it is. And hide the word of the Lord in your heart, on the tablet of your heart. Remember the law. Remember the guidance, the wisdom. Keep it close to you so you can use it. So it's not just lying on the table. So it's not just lying on your, in your bedroom on the nightstand. No, keep it with you. Around your neck. Tucked into your shirt. On your heart. That is where it's supposed to be. Readily available to you. Verse 4. And so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. Favor and high esteem. I don't know about you, but I'm trying to find favor. Right? I'm trying to find favor. I'm trying to be different than the world. I'm trying to be different than everybody else that isn't seeking after him, that isn't walking fully with the Lord. I'm not great at it. I try. And that's what the Lord wants. He wants us. He wants us to try. He wants us to seek after him. He wants your life. He wants relationship with you. He's not expecting you to be perfect. He's not expecting you to, to just do everything exactly right. He's God. He knows what's going to happen. But he wants you. And hide this in your heart so you can walk more closely to him. High esteem amongst God and man. Oh, man, that sounds awesome. Is that your heart's desire? Maybe that's what you need. Maybe you need another heart check in your life. Maybe there's one of you out there listening that just needs to be reminded that it's, it's okay. It's okay that you're not in a perfect place in your life. It's okay that you've made a mistake. God still loves you, but He wants you. And He wants you to put forth some effort into this relationship. It's not perfect effort, but He wants you to seek after Him. He wants you so desperately. And we want that wisdom. So let's look some more. These verses are so deep and rich, these next few. You've heard them before. That's the memorization, these two verses. Let's get into it. Let's see it. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. Trust. We did a series not too long ago in trust. What does trust look like? Do you trust God like you trust a father or a parent or the most trustworthy person in your life? How are you trusting God? Right? Trust in the Lord. That means believing that He has your best interests in mind. And sometimes that's a difficult thing to do. That's my own war in my life this year. That's what the Lord has been speaking into my life. Trust me, Josh. Trust me. All right, God, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trusting you now. 20 minutes later, what happened, Josh? You're not trusting me again. I trust you, Lord. Man, maybe that's what you need right now. That's, that's what you need to look at. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. 
Maybe you're holding a part of yourself back. Maybe you're not really giving him everything. Maybe on the outward, you're telling people, yeah, 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 I trust you, Lord. I trust the Lord. It feels great. Everything's perfect. I'm following him. I'm reading my Bible, all that stuff. But secretly, you're not really fully trusting him. Maybe you're not really fully being honest with him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. It starts on the inside. It works its way out. Right? Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Your heart reflects what you care deeply about. And don't hold back any part of your life from the Lord. He wants it all. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Complete and utter trust. Lean not on your own understanding. Trust falls, you know? That's what I've been thinking about when I was reading this. It's kind of funny. You ever seen those videos where the family's like, all right, trust fall. You close your eyes, you fall back into my arms. I love the videos where it's like kids or students or whoever, and they're like, all right, on the count of three, fall, we'll catch you. And they fall the wrong way. I love those videos, they're comedy. Probably hurts though. So like, my bad, but it's pretty comedy. Trust in the Lord, don't lean the wrong way. Lean not on your understanding because you won't ever understand it fully. You, you might be in a situation you don't fully get. You're like, God, I've literally done everything you've asked me to do. I'm literally following what everyone in the world has said to do and it's not going my way. You don't get it. God, I just lost my grandma. I just lost my grandpa. God, my parents are going through a divorce. Man, maybe you're in the midst of crisis right now and, and you're trying to lean on your understanding of what's happening. Man, that is a danger. That is a hard place to be in because you're not leaning against the strongest wall you could lean against. You're falling the wrong way. Your trust falling the wrong way. Fall back into his arms. Let him, let him show you that he is trustworthy. Lean on him. His understanding, just trust Him. You might not get it all. He has your best interest in mind. And He shall direct your paths. I think that is the biggest question, right? Your biggest question, my biggest question, maybe not as specific, but Lord, what should I do here? Should I date that person? Should I not date that person? Should I go to that school? Should I not go to that school? Should I get this job? Should I not get that? this job? Should I tell my friend this? Should I not tell my friend that? I mean, our questions every day are like, God, give me a roadmap exactly of what I should do. That's not how it works. But if we're leaning on him and we're trusting him and we're walking step by step, man, he, we are going to be in the will of the Lord, trusting him. All right. Verse seven, do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. All right, two things that I think I have struggled with in my life, right? I think guys in general struggle with this hard. I know girls do too, but um, humility. Man, when we, when, when we get on, on the basketball court, it doesn't matter if you're good or bad at the sport. You're going to throw down. You're going to go hard. You're going to foul, right? You're going to work hard because we have pride. And sometimes our pride can get us into trouble, right? Let's look at that verse. What does it say? Do not be wise in your own eyes. You guys do not have all the answers. Sorry. Hey, your parents are asking you to do something. You don't, you don't know why. Your parents are asking you to do something you don't agree, like you don't like. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to go on a six mile hike today. Guess what? Do not be wise in your own eyes. Don't just assume you know what's best. That's a dangerous place to be because then you can get yourself into trouble. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. All right, so if you're not wise in your eyes, who are you supposed to be wise in? Well, obviously the Lord. That's who you should be wise and have wisdom in this. But listen to people who are wiser than you because guess what? They're out there. All of us have people in our life we're going to go to. Mentors. People who've been there before us. People that we trust deeply. We're going to go talk to them. We're going to go seek them. We're going to watch them. 
do that. Do not be wise in your eyes. Fear the Lord. And depart from evil. That's a huge, that's like a huge thing right now. There's so much evil everywhere. Access to technology, I think, makes the access to things that are evil so much, so much easier. Movies, music, porn, racy things, whatever it is, right? Maybe it's messaging people you shouldn't be messaging, sending things you shouldn't send. Whatever it is, depart from all evil things. Don't justify them. They'll hold us. We'll be in a holding pattern. It'll freeze what you're trying to, what's, what's trying to grow in your life in the Lord. Right? Trust in Him. Depart from evil. And any of you listening, depart from evil. Get away from it. It is holding you back from, from the amazing things in store for your life. Maybe it feels like a quick escape. Maybe it feels like, ah, this is what everyone else is doing. Let me go ahead and do it too. No. Run from it. Flee from it. Turn, repent, and get out of there. Depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. So your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. Honor the Lord with your possessions, with your things, with your time, with your money, with your gifts, with your skills, whatever it is. Honor the Lord. Trust the Lord. Health to your flesh. Right? What does it say? Be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. I need that, Lord. I'm tapped. I'm tired. Oh, man, what can I do? Seek wisdom. Seek His law, His words. Seek Him. My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord, nor detest his correction. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects, just as a father the son in whom he delights. My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord. Man, the Lord disciplines us. When we fall short, we make a mistake. Man, he doesn't hate us. He's not yelling at us. He's not like pissed at us because we're like going against him. But he is going to discipline us. We are going to be disciplined in our life. Just like you go on a timeout, man, sometimes we have to learn the hard way. Believe me, personal experience, we learn the hard way sometimes. Do not despise when you grow from that because that's, that's the Lord showing you his love. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects, just as a father of the son in whom he delights. Man, he loves you. He delights in you. He corrects us because he loves us. Maybe you're in a season of correction and discipline right now. And maybe you're like, I don't like this. Well, just grow in it. Trust him. Trust him. That's why he says to trust him. But let's find wisdom and flee evil. Run from those evil things. Find wisdom in the best places. And we're just I'm just going to read 13 and I'll let you guys go. And we'll, we'll just keep the other stuff for next week. But it says, happy is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding. Happy is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding. Let that be you guys. Find joy and happiness in knowing how to handle situations well. In walking away from something you shouldn't be in and then be happy the next day when you see, oh shoot, they all got rolled. Right? Oh shoot, they got in trouble for doing that. Man, thank you, Lord. I'm not in trouble. I listened. Find wisdom in the Lord and let it be life to you and life abundant. Trust him and seek after him. Fear him and flee evil. Man, I'm pumped for this series, Wisdom. I think it's going to be some good stuff for sure. Uh, uh, Lord God, thank you for this day. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your mercy and your grace. Thank you that you give us wisdom. Wisdom from others. Wisdom from our past mistakes, but more importantly, wisdom from you and in this word, God, may we go to it, the true source of wisdom. We thank you for this day. We thank you for all that you're doing. We pray for each student and their family, anyone listening, Lord God, and we uh, just thank you that we get to be here. We praise you in your name, amen. Hey, yo, I'm stoked for this series, wisdom. I need more of it for sure. Ask anybody, uh, you need more of it.
Um, but it's going to be dope. And please come on a Friday night. We want to see you guys 6 to 8 p.m. on campus. Check out our podcast. But other than that, enjoy your days. Peace.